Li Jiaishu said NPC's standing committee was busy on the legislative front, and it approved 30 drafts since the postponed NPC session in May. The chairman listed some of the committee's work, which included constitutional checks on measures related to pandemic prevention and control, wildlife protection, civil code implementation, food and drug safety, and improving business environments. He said the committee identified over 3,000 documents that needed to be revised or discarded. While reviewing the committee's work in 2020, he said it worked to ensure constitutional order and the rule of law in the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region. The disturbances that occurred in Hong Kong in 2019 over the proposed revision to the extradition bill had a severe impact on the rule of law and public order. They also presented a serious challenge to the policy of one country, two systems. The NPC acted swiftly in holding two consecutive meetings in June last year, at which the law on safeguarding national security in the Hong Kong SAR was deliberated and adopted. The adoption of a decision for the 6th Hong Kong Legislative Council to continue to discharge its duties in August 2020 was followed by the Standing Committee's November decision on issues relating to the qualifications for members of the Hong Kong Legislative Council. Another decision will be adopted at this session regarding improvements to the electoral system of the Hong Kong SAR. Touching on 2021, the chairman of the MPC Standing Committee said implementation of the Constitution was a priority. Li Jianshu added that it was essential to safeguard constitutional order in China's special administrative regions, Macau and Hong Kong, so that implementation of the one country, two systems policy could go steady and far. Li went on to say that legislative efforts this year would focus on many key areas such as public health, national security, the economy, and people's well-being. He said the committee may start codifying laws in specific areas when conditions allow to make his legislative work more targeted. Guan Chao, CGTN.